Hi, I'm Tony Hunter and I wanted to share my story as CEO of the Chicago Tribune Media Group and how we took a company on the way to bankruptcy to the most profitable news organization in the country. Imagine you're me in 2008. A great career with Tribune Company, 15 years, continuously moving up the ranks, record profits, things are going well when all of a sudden the financial meltdown occurs. Dot coms come on the scene and begin to steal share. People are running from the publishing industry and people are wondering if there will be newspapers in the future. Staring us straight in the face is bankruptcy, layoffs, and many tough decisions. And then my phone rings offering me the top job at the Chicago Tribune. And what do I say? Of course, I say yes. I believe the role of a leader during disruptive times is to create a pathway and a reason for change. And so I would call it transforming the organization. We were in a major transformation project. And we had to go from being a newspaper company to a media and business services company that happens to publish a newspaper. And think about that in this building at the Tribune Tower, saying something like that. But making those kinds of proclamations, I think is a big part of transforming a company. And then come behind that with a number of plans in a simplified fashion. So during our transformation, we really did five things extremely well. First and foremost, we simplified the plan and aligned the interests of our employees. Second, we spent a significant amount of time on employee engagement and communication. Third, we put the customer at the forefront of all of our decisions. Fourth, we invested resources against the new opportunities identified. And last, we forced a discussion of competing alternatives. And one a good example of how that paid dividends was, instead of cutting the content in our product like everyone else was doing, we forced a discussion of what would happen if we added more content and asked people to pay more for it. And lo and behold, that plan, which was against the grain of the entire industry, ended up creating almost $10 million of incremental profit. I think you, again, have to demonstrate why there's a need for change. Sometimes I think as executives we skip that uh, step in the process, but explaining why there's a need for change. And second, I would say to involve your team. And by involving your team, it may slow you down at the beginning, but it will actually speed you up in the end. I was very humbled, and the responsibility to take on an institution that's been in Chicago for over 140 years really dawned on me. And there's not a day I walk through the Tribune Tower doors where that's lost on me. This is not only a media company, it's an institution, and it represents Chicago. And that was very important to me that the past was also part of our future. And I think that's a narrow gap to get through as a leader, that you're proud of your past, but focused on the future.